Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Bad Education. This is a 2019 film that came out in parts of the world in 2020. Um, it is rated TV Mature. Uh, it comes to us from HBO uh, Max, but it's a real movie. It runs an hour and 48 minutes, and it stars Hugh Jackman, Ray Romano, Welker White, amongst others. Actually, a really good cast. The description, the beloved superintendent of New York's Roslyn School District and his staff friends and relatives become the prime suspects in the unfolding of the single largest public school embezzlement scandal in American history. This is Bad Education. Well, thank you everybody for watching this video. If you'd like any correspondence with me outside of YouTube, um, I do have my Facebook page. It's Danny's Movies and Music. If you'd like to check that out, I have lots of bonus content. Um, I have not watched this movie on my birthday day, but today is my birthday day. And um, so I just decided that I wanted to get this review done so I can kind of enjoy the rest of the day. I'd still have to work and everything. But um, this movie comes obviously from HBO. It has lots of stars in it. It's about a big story. It's a well done production with pretty good actors. Uh, lots of noticeable names and everything. So that really helps. And um, the movie itself is well done and well thought out. But it hurts itself. Um, I'll start with the good stuff because there's lots of good stuff. You know, you have Hugh Jackman. He's a great actor. He plays a good actor in here. Um, he is given a lot to do in this movie and a lot to keep secret and a lot to let unfold and, you know, let his character kind of develop as the movie goes. And I don't even think he is able to handle this character because it seems a little bit too much. Um, you know, it's a true story. And it's based on this stuff that happened. It's real life stuff. And you, there's only so much you can keep secret. Because we all know what's coming. We just don't know when it's coming. And so for Hugh Jackman to have his own little secret. And have all these other little things. You know tidbits that get released as the movie goes. I mean he has some lines that are kind of corny. He has a speech or two that's kind of like really you know kind of unnecessary and I don't know like his character is just going through so much because of this whole thing. It kind of causes this whole thing and um, it's just kind of crazy how much is in that character in that storyline. It almost takes away from the attention of the movie because you're trying to figure out what's going on with him. I guess that is the movie, but still, it seems like a lot. So, um, our assistant to Hugh Jackman's character, um, she is probably the best voice for a New Yorker in this movie. Because everybody else is just kind of talking how they talk. She was really trying to talk like this, like a New Yorker. And, uh, so, um... I think she did pretty well in this movie. I think that she didn't play much of a character. I think she was more of herself. But I do like everything that happens with her in this movie. Because it's just like not fair. But also yes she was guilty. So it kind of like makes you sympathetic towards her and everything. That's really good like way of doing things for this movie. Um, everybody else in this movie like Ray Romano and the board of the school and the students that are trying to, you know, be there and have some focus put on them. I wouldn't say anybody else like stands out. Um, you know, it, it's a pretty mediocre, uh, uh, supporting cast. Uh, the main stars deliver, but everybody else is like, okay, so you have that going on. Okay, cool. So the storyline obviously is true. And when you do movies like this, it's almost like 
there's really no other way of doing it other than just telling the story from beginning to end. Hope that people are surprised by your twists. Try and deliver them in such a manner that it's not so obvious. And that's about it. You know, I mean, it's not a documentary, so that helps. It's a real movie, which I enjoyed. But they have so much other stuff going on. Some of it's kind of like not relevant to the point, but then it is. But then it's kind of like you don't care about it, but then you have to care about it. And uh, it kind of goes back and forth. And that kind of bugged me as the movie went on. I was like, okay, what am I supposed to be paying attention to? What am I caring about here at the end? And, uh, you know, once the end came, obviously we knew what was going to happen there. But like I said, I didn't like some of the speeches and some of the ways that Hugh Jackman's character took things. So altogether, it's like an interesting movie. I would give it a watch, as I did. Um, but... Uh, for you, you know, I mean, it's worth a watch, you know, but, um, I was trying to be really nice to this movie because I really like the actors in this. I'm surprised they got so many people involved for some HBO documentary thing about a school embezzling money. And, uh, so I think what hurts it the most is the slowness of the movie, just like nothing happening for like an hour. And when the twists come, you know, they're exciting, but... Honestly, you know, it has so much build up, so much uh, just waiting for whatever's going to happen at the end that it kind of gets kind of boring. So I'm going to give this grade for Bad Education a C plus. Uh, I think that it can be a B minus C plus. Uh, tells you that it's worth watching if you want to watch it. It's available on a couple platforms, obviously, with HBO making it. Uh, but uh I think C plus is a good grade. It's kind of middle of the road, but it's better than that. So C plus for bad education. I hope you guys were able to give it a chance. Thanks. My name's Danny. If you like this or any other videos, try and get some of them to watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. And enjoy your movies. Thanks.